In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the ribbon product files from LumaBox. So what I'm starting with is a facade that I made in LumaMap and I've also got the wrapping paper um, product animation uh, from LumaBox coming in and now I want to add a ribbon on top. So I am first of all going to grab the main ribbon file and drag it onto this icon here to put it into its own comp, which I will call ribbon. And the situation with this file is that um, if I toggle on transparency grid, nothing happens because there is no transparency in this file. This, uh, these black areas are baked in. So what can I do about that if I want to remove the black areas and have just the ribbon on top of um, some content underneath? Well, the key to doing that is using the ribbon alpha file and alpha means transparency. So if I click and drag that on top of my ribbon file, what I can do is use the um, luminance information in this file. So that's white being the lightest, brightest pixels of all and black being the darkest um, pixels in the file. I can use that to drive the transparency of the ribbon and say, keep the areas that are white and make transparent the areas that are black. And I do that by um, setting a track mat for ribbon. And I can do that here in this column, track mat. If you can't see this, you might need to toggle switches. And under track mat for ribbon, I'm going to set the track mat to ribbon alpha. But rather than use um, alpha, I'm going to click this and say, look at the luma, make it a luma map, look at the luminance. So the brightness, the whites and the black areas um, to tell ribbon where to be transparent. And now we are seeing transparency in the areas that were black. So that's great. And what that means is that now we can go back to um, our first scene, our main scene. And if we grab this ribbon comp that we were just working in that now has transparency, I can drag that inside and it's sitting on top. It's 4K, so I can scale it down by dragging, uh, clicking and dragging on this corner handle. And if I hold down shift while I do that, it constrains the proportions so that I can't uh, squash and stretch it. And I'll just bring it down to a size that I like. And that's looking pretty good. So now all I need to do is just move it around in my scene to whatever it is that I want, wherever I want it to start. Um, but that's really just personal preference um, and the main work is done. So that's how you use the ribbon files from LumaBox. If you liked this video, why not hit that like button and subscribe if you don't wanna miss what's coming next.